She's going now. to scrub the mission tonight, won't they? I don't know whether or not they can. Well, if they don't, somebody's going to have to take care of Bobby and Randy. Uh-huh. I know. I'll call Ben and offer to take Oh, him. no, wait a minute, Pat. I don't think you ought to ask. For good reason. I mean, with all the women on this block who are used to kids, like Marge Riddleson. Well, why saddle her with any more? Well, honey, those characters will run your legs off. With all you have to do... What do I have to do? You're on that luncheon committee, oh. and you said you wanted to repaint the kitchen. Nothing would give me greater pleasure than taking care of those characters while their mother's off producing another one. Now, may I? Okay, just be careful of them, huh? I will. Be careful. So, when you get this off of my, my safe and hand. Yeah, there we are. Come on, come on, have a nice bite. Yeah, take a bite of that now. Yeah, have a bite. Throw the spoon on. So, at 5 a.m., she bolts yeah. up and says, That's a good This is it. And I call the medics. My cat was. Oh, no, it's delicious. Well, is it going to be a boy or a girl? A girl. A beautiful, sexy girl. And I'm going to get together everything I've got and send her to one of those nice, fancy finishing schools. Somewhere I'm going to find her a nice, rich millionaire. Maybe down in South America. It's warm down there. And then... Then what? And then... I'm going to move in on him and sleep. I'm going to sleep 20 hours a day. Except I'm going to leave orders that whenever a sack plane flies over, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, it doesn't matter, they'll wake me up. And then I'm going to walk out on my nice warm patio, look up, listen to it go by, and I'm going to laugh and laugh and laugh. A beautiful, obedient daughter to retire on. That's what every man needs. Tell me something. Does Linda want a girl? Another boy. I still think they ought to let you cancel the flight. Yeah, well, unfortunately, this wing doesn't have enough aircraft commanders to furnish a relief. Some of our better co-pilots don't seem to care whether they ever qualify or not. I'll qualify when I'm ready, Ben. He isn't thinking of himself. He's thinking of the crew and the rest of the planes. Don't we all? Don't we all? Hi, Let's go, coffee drinkers. Time's a waste. Yeah, be right with you. And you, monkey, be good. Pat, I, uh, I can't thank you enough. It's all right. Don't worry. Just come back safely. ask that. Why? I don't know. When you're gone, I sort of like to think about you sometimes. Yes? Yes, occasionally. Oh, that's nice. Yes, I'd, I'd like to know whether to put you over the North Atlantic or in Madrid or in the BOQ at Terre Haute. Well, by the time we brief and pre-flight, it'll be late afternoon, so I figure 10 hours flying time and 9 hours time difference, I'd say Terre Haute by 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, your time, the latest. I see. Well, then you'll sleep tomorrow and write to me the next day? Mm -hmm. Andy, Pat, where's my daddy gone? Um, 
Well, the sweetheart, he's gone away for a few days, but he'll be back very soon. And when he does come back, we're all gonna have a great time, okay? Okay. Okay. You know, I... I won't be as lonely this time. I'm glad. Johnny. Someday. Look, Pat. You have me and I have you, so... Let's not rock the boat, huh? Incidentally, Mike, we're going to have to brief for this trip alone. Well, where will I be? You have an appointment at the Wing Command Post. Who is? I have arranged, Johnny, my boy, for another little fire to be lit under you. Who's the appointment with? Well, I beat on you for about six months. Last month you saw the Colonel, so who do you think? The old man. The old man. Ben. Yeah? Get off my back. Get qualified. Lieutenant John Corby. Lieutenant John Corby, sir. I'll be right with you, son. At ease. Major Dawson's co-pilot. Yes, sir. 818 from SAC. Do you intend to abort streetcar 14? I'll stand by one. He's en route to reflex alert in England. He's having cabin pressurization trouble there, just north of Gander. What would you do, Lieutenant? I'd divert him to Goose Bay, sir. There's no danger. It's just uncomfortable for them, having to wear a mask. I wouldn't want to be responsible for anything worse happening, sir. Sack from 818th. Negative abort. I'm having him proceed to England. Roger. You don't like it, do you, Lieutenant? No, sir. If I stopped them at Goose Bay, what would happen to the alert crew they're supposed to relieve in England? I'd say they could start back anyway, sir. Start back anyway? Suppose somebody blows the whistle. Who hits that plane's target? You take the large view, Lieutenant. Look at the B-52s in our airborne alert force. North to the Canadian border, west to California, and back to the Midwest. In the air 24 hours a day. Suppose we started leaving holes in that operation. It might tempt them to blow the whistle. Not enough crews ever, though. Not enough trained people. And not enough aircraft commanders. How long have you been in the back seat, Lieutenant? Four years, sir. It's time you got up front. If not, well, you've heard of a flying evaluation board. Yes, sir. These wings aren't branded on. They're pinned. Do you like to fly? Yes, sir. As a co-pilot, but not when you're responsible for the whole crew. Responsibility. You quit hiding from it, Lieutenant, or you may not be flying at all. If you're not a professional, you don't belong in sack. That's all. OK, 
Okay, thanks, Doc. How is she? Not in labor yet, but they won't let her come to the phone. Go ahead, Swami. Well, gentlemen, your routing is Reflex Alpha Bravo 2. Since you've had your uh, weather briefing, you can expect high overcast, severe turbulence, and strong headwinds across the North Atlantic. Looks like you're in for a pretty hairy trip. Any questions? No questions. Uh, Lieutenant, have you picked up your communications, Flimsy? No, I was busy. Now, Major, if you'll sign for this combat mission folder. Ready. The general mentioned anything about a flying evaluation board? Maybe you can get his job. Chew on you hard enough so you'd get within 50 feet of a tanker. Ben, I'm not risking two other men in this plane and maybe a tanker crew just to prove to you that I'm a big boy now. Not till I'm ready, is that clear? Get ready. Is that clear? Ben, if you don't move this airplane in nine minutes and eight seconds, you'll be talking to the old man yourself. Ground control, this is streetcar 58 for takeoff. Over. Roger. Streetcar 58. Clear to runway 31. Wind northeast 15 knots. Contact march departure control on 275.9er. Roger. Finishes you for the afternoon. I'll call you tomorrow when we get to Spain. Station check. Raj. Aircraft commander for navigator. AC for nav. Airspeed 310 knots. Climbing through 5,000 feet now. Mask off. Raj, mask off. AC from that. Do you smell smoke, Dad?
Negative. Johnny, do you smell anything? Negative. Mike, can you still smell it? No, not now. What did it smell like? Electrical. Maybe it was just a warm relay. Maybe. No trace of it now? No, sir. Okay, Mike, give me your first ETA as soon as you have it worked out. Roger. Ship Alpha, this is Streetcar 58. How do you read me? Over. I read you loud and clear. Go ahead. Position report. I'm 910 miles east of Gander, Newfoundland. Latitude 5031 north. Longitude 3408 west. Time 14. Altitude 31,000 feet. Do you have time and position for rendezvous with tanker plane? Over. Affirmative. Are you ready to copy? I'll copy, Ben. Go ahead. Your tanker will be a King Charlie 135, radio call Donut 9 or 1. Rendezvous point for refueling. Latitude 50 degrees north, longitude 30 degrees 12 minutes west. Refueling altitude 30,000, severe turbulence at all altitudes. Out. Roger. How about some chow? Raj! oxygen and emergency. Are you depressurizing? Negative, negative. Mike's got his mask off. I can't. Hey, co-pilot, you got it. I'm stowing controls and going down to fight fire. I have the aircraft. Set the automatic pilot for me. I'll come down and give you a hand with Ben. Right. The autopilot won't engage. We must have burned it out, too. Okay, Mike.
Mike, give me a course to Goose Bay. Goose Bay or the refueling point? What do you mean? How much fuel have we got? How far is it to Goose Bay? Around two and a half hours. How much fuel have we got? An hour. Mike, we'll have to rendezvous with the tanker first. Can you get him on radar? Johnny, the fire was in the radar junction box. Mike, I've got to have a course to rendezvous. All right. Go probably from there. Johnny, try to hold her steady. I'm trying to get a fast fix. It's no use, Johnny. It's too rough and too overcast. I can't find a star I could use. Sunrise in 20 minutes, Mike. You'll lose them all. There's some breaks in the overcast. Can't you spot Polaris to the north? Negative. Here, General. Goose Bay's ready for them if they get the fuel to make it. Huh. Streetcar 58. This is Blue Fox Control. Division Commander speaking. What's your status? Over. This is Streetcar 58. Unable to contact tanker by voice radio. Our position's uncertain. We're approximately 1,000 miles east of Newfoundland. We're trying to get a star fix. Radar and autopilot burned out. The aircraft commander is still unconscious in the crawlway. Roger, out. Who is the AC? Major Dawson, sir. Uh, his wife's in labor. I thought we were uh, changing schedules for pregnancy. Not enough aircraft commanders. Dawson? Uh, who's the co-pilot? Lieutenant Corby. The kid who won't buck for aircraft commander, the one you sent me this morning? Yes, sir. If they do rendezvous, can he hook up? He's never made it yet. Well, he's got no place to hide now. for the refueling point. How's he gonna refuel? I don't know, Ben. Easy, Ben. Uh, Mike, I gotta get it. Don't move. Oh, my arm. How much fuel? 20 minutes, maybe 30. Donut 901, Donut 901, this is Streetcar 58. Do you read me? Over. Tanker rendezvous point in eight minutes. 
Mike, that puts us pretty far off course. You sure it was Polaris, not Doobie? It looked like Polaris. We only had a few seconds. Uh, we weren't too steady. I held it steady as I could. It should have been long enough for a fix. I'm sorry. Was a good shot. We're there. Roger. Donut nine or one. Donut nine or one. This is streetcar five, eight at the rendezvous point. Do you read me? Do you read me? Over. Blue Fox Control. Blue Fox Control. This is streetcar five, eight. We are orbiting the rendezvous point. Can you relay to our tanker? Over. Blue Fox Control, Blue Fox Control. This is Streetcar 58, on guard. Do you read me on guard? Do you read me on 243.0? Over. Mike, we've lost the command post. How much fuel? Maybe 15 minutes. This is Blue Four. Fox Control, Division Commander speaking. Can you home on his signal? Over. Blue Fox Control, this is Donut Niner One. Negative his signal. Have you got him on radar? Negative. I'm 10 minutes from rendezvous point. Takeoff delayed 20 minutes due to weather. I'm encountering severe headwinds. Are you carrying maximum power? Max cruise power. You jam those throttles to the firewall, mister. Garage. Five, four, three, two, one. Donut 901, this is Streetcar 58. Do you read me? Over. I don't think he's going to read us, Johnny. You know why? Why, Mike? I'm beginning to think we're 30 miles from the rendezvous point. I'm beginning to think that star I shot wasn't Polaris. I'm beginning to think I should have stuck with dead reckoning. If I had, we'd be 30 miles south. We'll use half our fuel getting there. Well, that's better than using it here and dropping in the Atlantic, if I'm wrong. Well, was it Polaris? I don't know, Johnny. I just don't know. You're the navigator. If you'd have helped that plane steady, I would have gotten a better fix, too. You're right, Mike. I've got to try. You've got to try. You've got to try, Johnny. 
Or get out. Well, I'm not getting out, Pat. Why not? Well, you go back to UCLA. You, you could get a teacher's certificate. So could I. I'd love to teach. Grammar school or kindergarten, maybe. I'm not getting out, Pat. I like the Air Force. Come on, you do too. Oh, sure. It's just tearing you apart. And it always will, unless you qualify. Well, do you think I don't want to qualify? How do you think I like my own A.C. riding me? How do you think I like our own navigator afraid to fly with me? When we go down there today and Mike finds out it's going to be me in that front seat trying to refuel again, even with Ben along, he'll climb into that navigator seat like it was the electric chair. I don't think so. Well, you don't know. Get up there at 25,000 feet under that big fat tail, 60 feet away, and 50, 40. And I'll try to get in closer. But I keep thinking of those guys in that tanker. Even if we eject, they can't. And their kids. And Bobby and Randy. And Linda. And Mike's family. And you. So I'll try to force myself in. And we'll hit a little turbulence, maybe. And then all of a sudden, I'm hollering for Ben to take over from the rear seat. And then... Just like that, I'll be fine. Because Big Daddy's got the stick. Just like that. But if the air's smooth enough... And if he's mad enough, if he really wants to jab the needle in me, you know what he'll do? He'll refuel himself from the rear seat. You can do it. But don't bet on it. But don't bet on it. Donut 901. Donut 901. This is streetcar 58. My position must have been in error. I'm heading south. Do you read me? Over. No answer, Mike. Give me a heading. Dead south is good enough. Maybe the water will be warmer then. Mike, I see a plane. Donut 901, Donut 901, this is streetcar 58. Garage 58, do you read me now? Affirmative. Refueling altitude 30,000 feet. ETA to ARCP, three minutes. Right. Donut 901, this is Streetcar 58. I have you in sight. I'm below you and climbing to your altitude. Now from co-pilot. Go ahead. Are you ready for refueling? How far off is he? About three minutes. How much fuel we got? About five minutes.
Okay, I'm ready. Well, Donut Niner One, this is Blue Fox Control. Did you say that he was going to try to refuel from the rear seat? Affirmative. Why? He says it's too turbulent for him to get forward. Streetcar 58, this is Donut Niner One. I am heading downstream. I have gone to standby on my equipment. What is your position? Donut 901, this is Streetcar 58. I'm about one half mile behind you. All valves open. What's your altimeter and indicated airspeed? Altimeter 29992. Indicated airspeed 255 knots. Roger. Mike, you're going to have to read the checklist. Roger. Bomb side retractable cover. Closed. Automatic pilot. Off. Anti-collision and navigation lights. N.A. Trim seat and pedals. Adjusted. Slipway door. Open. Unnecessary electric equipment. Off. Fuel panel. Rechecked. Checklist complete. Ready for contact. Streetcar 58. You are about one quarter mile ahead of me. Boom operator radio check. How do you read me? Uh, this is a boomer uh, 58. Uh, your closure is slow, and I read you five square. Roger. I have all my tanks open for you. Tank are ready. Nav ready? I'm ready. Receiver ready. Straight car from Boomer, up and in. You're way back. Car up and that's better. Up five, up three, four, three. Roger. 
Well indicated. Good. Zulu. Up. Goose Bay GCA, this is Streetcar 58 coming to 040. Over.
You did okay, buddy. Now check on Linda for me, will you? Major Ben Dawson, 307th Bomb Wing from Commanding General, 818th Aerospace Division. Congratulations on potential new aircraft, Commander. Weight, eight pounds, six ounces, mother five. Yeah? No kidding. <laughs> and I wanted a girl. Looks like I never will get that long sleep, huh? Holding you back, Johnny. But I'm glad you found out before it was too late. Ah, uh, it was late, Mike. It was later than you think. <laughs> <laughs> 